And of course on Long Island you have to have a car. If you don't have a car, you're screwed. We have buses, we have taxis. Taxis cost a fortune. Um, I ended up taking a, a taxi with a, with a friend of mine from uh, a town, a, a hospital that was two towns over. So it was about a six mile trip. Taxi ride was 25 bucks. Give me a break. I don't know how these people take cabs every day. I mean, you can, how can you afford it? And usually somebody that would take a cab every day, I'm assuming, can't afford to have their own vehicle. I am sure there's some people that take cabs for other reasons, but... And it's expensive to have your own vehicle because, you know, fuel costs are crazy. You know, not quite as bad as they used to be, but, but they're up there. You got to maintain the vehicle, and on Long Island, you rarely get to just go, like get on a freeway and go. You're often, you know, stop and go, and that's the nature of it. So there's more wear and tear on your on your vehicles. If you go out east on the forks of Long Island, the North Fork and the South Fork. The South Fork is is really nice. It um, obviously has the Atlantic Ocean on the South Shore and that's a very, some of it is very rich areas, the Hamptons, which uh, is known nationwide, so I'm sure you've heard of the Hamptons. And I mean we, there's a lot of famous people that have homes there it's very, very expensive. The traffic there is heavy in the summertime because uh, a lot of people from the city have summer homes out there. So they travel out there, you know, in the summertime. But in the wintertime, people don't want to be there because there's nothing to do and it's too cold. So they, they abandon it. So then the traffic isn't bad. The North Fork, um, I love the North Fork. It's cheaper to live there than, than where I am. It's about 50 miles east of me. And it's just more country. You still have the, the open uh, sod fields. You still have, they have all these vineyards out there. They call it wine country. Um, there's just, there's a lot of farming out there. And unfortunately, where I am now, that's what it used to be like also and they've just built it up that there's there's no farms whatsoever uh, when I was younger um, there were sod farms around and then uh, like I said in the past three to five years I've slowly seen these sod farms built you know have houses built on them all of a sudden hopefully that doesn't happen to the North Fork but uh, you know who knows Long Island is a, it's a very crowded place. Um, I'm sure the amount of people per square mile are here compared to the average place is much higher. Now, in the North Fork, you don't have You don't have the Atlantic Ocean, but you have the Long Island Sound and the Peconic Bay, which is in between the forks. Basically, anywhere you go on Long Island, you know, since we're an island, you're gonna not be too far from water. Um, my boat, I take that into Long Island Sound for the most part, which I love. I grew up on the Long Island Sound, so I know it pretty well. Um, past two seasons I've actually been going out to the Great South Bay which is uh, in between Fire Island and South Shore of Long Island. Um, I don't really like it. It's cluttered with a lot of boats. There's a, most of it is, it's all very shallow. It's very shallow. And if you don't stay in the right spot you're gonna run aground. And it's not well marked. And since you don't have a lot of places to go, 
all the boats that are in there are you're kind of on top of each other so everyone's flying I feel like I'm on a two-way street basically but instead of uh, driving a car I'm on a, I'm in a boat and I'm not used to passing boats within 10 feet of each other you know both of us at cruising speed you know it kind of freaks me out boats shouldn't be that close to each other but that's the nature of the Great South Bay. It's also very muddy. At least they don't have rocks. The uh, North Shore of Long Island, well, the North Shore of Long Island, which is uh, Long Island Sound, is full of rocks. Luckily, I know where the rocks are because growing up, my dad probably hit every one of them. So now I know where they are. But, uh, Long Island Sound, you get out there, and right away you're in 50, 75, 100 feet of water. I love it, you know. Then you can just go wherever you want. I also take trips over to Connecticut. Yeah, I really like Connecticut. You know, I go over there to, to uh, Bohegan Sun and Foxwoods, two casinos. And, um, I really enjoy trips over there, especially Eastern Connecticut. It's uh, again, it's very country-like. Um, they don't have like the sod farms and and the vineyards like Eastern Long Island, but it's still very country. You know, people have a lot of property. The roads are just the roads are just very country. It's just really pretty out there, and people just aren't like New Yorkers. New Yorkers are, well, they're known to be rude and very fast-paced, you know, and that's how, that is how New Yorkers are. And even though I don't live in the city, we're in the New York uh, tri-state area, and people that live in that area are New Yorkers. You know, I'm sure you can hear it from my accent. Of course, I don't notice an accent, but when people from people talk to me that are not around not from around here they sound funny to me and they sure as hell let me know how funny I sound to them uh, like as soon as I get to work I'm gonna have a cup of coffee uh, I guess most people don't say coffee but that's what I say so I'm just turning onto the road now that goes to my job so I won't be here much longer but um on the boat, yeah, it's nice to take a trip to Connecticut. Um, it's about 18 miles across. So, you know, at a nice, relaxing cruising speed on the boat, it takes about, oh, 40 minutes or so to get across. And on a nice day, it's a wonderful ride. And then there's more to do up there. Um, Stratford, Connecticut is beautiful, and it has a nice long river that is navigable up to Shelton, Connecticut, which is about 15 miles, well, 10 or 15 miles inland. And um, it's just so beautiful. I mean, I go up so far that the water turns into fresh water, you know, where we're usually in salt water. And it's just pretty. Trees right down to the water. You know, we're not used to that. If you're on salt water, you got to have beach, and not many trees grow right there. But anyway, I'm making my turn into work right now, so I'm going to say take care, and uh, it was good talking to you. And we will talk soon. Take care.